I'm Don W6GPS, and I want to introduce you to the new Kenwood D THD74. Now, before we start, one thing that you want to do is go to www.dstargateway.org and get yourself registered so that you can use the DSTAR network. It is a self-registering uh, uh, process. So today, I'm going to show you the basic setups of this radio setting up for DSTAR and APRS. And let me give you just a little understanding of the keys. First of all, power on, right there. This is your encoder up here. You can change bands with an AB, AB button right there. This is a function right here. So by pushing this, you're enabling these yellow highlighted uh, keys. So, we're going to start with just some basic setups. Uh, we're going to go to Menu, and here's a series of menus right here, sub-menus. And the first one we're going to set up is Menu 921. Now, you'll note right here is a, right here is a number, a menu number. But we'll go into the Configuration menu and scroll down to number 921, 9, 2, 1. Auto power off. Now what I like to do is just turn that off for right now because once you get to going with a radio, uh, you may set it aside and it'll shut down, but for right now, let's just turn that off. Back out. Let's go to uh, my position, menu 4, sub-menu 4, but it's actually menu 400, which is the GPS menu. And we're going to number 401, which is battery saver. And we're going to just, um, battery saver, and we're going to just go ahead and turn that off. Um, that way the GPS won't go to sleep on you for right now. Okay, next thing we'll do, go back to menu, and we're going to go to the APRS menu. And we're going to go to menu 500, my call sign. And you just back out the AB. If you have a D72, it's very similar. Back it out. Toggle in your uh, call sign. And mine is W6GPS. Now, once you get your call sign, hit the enter button. Now, back out again. 5, menu 506, data band, we're going to select B band for right now, go ahead and back out, and I'm going to go back in, I'm going back and forth just so you can get used to the, the keys here, we're going to go to uh, uh, menu 510 and we're going to just select manual beaconing for right now next menu we're going to select is uh, format so you can use a toggle you can use the encoder that's going to be 4 540 and we're going to select Kenwood. Back out. And we're going to select 9 character. Now, for the D-Star mode, go back into Menu. Go into menu 610, my call, edit, hit the edit button, W6, Now, 
Now once you get your call and you hit enter, it's going to toggle to the next field, and that's where you can put your name. People will see your name scrolling on the D-Star uh, transmission. Okay, once you've got your name, go back. Go back again. Keep on backing out. And we're going to 6.30. GPS in frame. Go ahead and turn that on. Back out. And for GPS, we're going to use the GPS. And it says GPS on. Now, if you don't... Uh, have a fix, what you can do is you could set your position. I'm just jotting that position down right now. So if we say use, we can go back. We can go to my position again. Now we're going to change it to a fixed position. So this is if you don't have a fix. But what I've found is if you have this and the GPS on, when the GPS uh, fix is not available, it will use one that you, that you have set for use. So I'm just going to edit my name to uh, QTH. You can do the encoder. You can use the buttons. Scroll down here, um, set your north and south, and I'll put my location where I'm at right now. You just dial it in, like so. And you can go backwards. This is 98, so I can go, I can go backwards right here. Go in here, change to use the left uh, toggle, and put in the other coordinate here. So, once you get that, go ahead and back out. So, you can use the GPS if you have a fix, or you can select a fixed location. So, if you use a fixed, lo a fixed location, that's maybe like in the basement or someplace where you can't get a, a GPS fix. All right. Now, we do have a GPS fix here. Um, I do have... Uh, my uh, APRS call sign set and we can just check that real quick and I've got that okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to uh, go to the digital mode so we've selected digital mode for the A band the B band's got a little bit of noise here so I accidentally set sideband on there. So now I've selected FM. So if you hear a funny noise, just remember which band uh, you're messing with. I'm going to go ahead and select the APRS frequency. And go ahead and turn APRS on. You turn APRS on by hitting function and list and you see there's a APRS 12 now if you keep on toggling on list you'll get the kiss you'll turn it off you'll get APRS 12 so now that we're in the digital mode here this is kind of a tricky key but um, you hit F in digital mode and then you go into the selection here to the digital function menu where you could change the 
if you want to use data or DV DR mode. Now, it's automatically in the DR mode by default. When you see this word scan, you can scan nearest repeater because you have a GPS reference. So hopefully somebody will come on here. Okay, KJ4, the L. And I K O L we talked when you're down in Lanza on a couple occasions and uh good to see you in Milwaukee. You saw the video of the new store and um yeah, it's working well and uh you're my first uh uh um Kenwood uh D Star contact, so um interesting in finding out more about that radio. So I'll keep tuned into it. I'm in fact I was sitting at my computer going to look at a couple of videos made by W six GPS on that very radio. Okay, well, good morning to you, and, um, and uh, KO, look out, let me uh, see if Don's trying to get a hold of me, just do a test, I guess, but W6GPS, just for a short, I gotta get busy here, KJ4VO. Hey, okay, Mark, KJ4VO, W6GPS, uh, had the radio and scan and just uh, picked you up, uh, tell me what you're doing, and uh, I know you're busy, just say a quick hello, I was demonstrating the scan feature on the uh, uh, TH uh, D seventy four. So back to you, Mark W six GPS Chattanooga. I'm out of my uh, territory, so I gotta get uh, get the fog out of my head. So if you need anything, let me know. I have to head out to work here. I'm at, I'm at the store. KJ four VO. Okay, folks, that's it for the quick setup of the Kenwood TH D seventy four. I've listed the main menus that we uh, change settings to, and we'll just let you uh, look them over real quick. Stay tuned uh, to this channel, W6GPS, for more information on the Kenwood THD74HT.